Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace, mercy, and blessings of God be upon you all. Good morning, everyone. I hope you are all well and safe, inshallah. My name is Mamdaf, uh, the school head of Asia Academic Integrated School, and I would like to welcome you all, our teachers, the admin staff, our dear parents, the new parents. Yes, we have new parents, alhamdulillah. The would be parents, inshallah. Guests and curious observers in our webinar for parents series one. You know, we have decided to open the invitation for this webinar today to everyone because it is our intention to help. If you are one of our parents, old and new, we hope to give you information as to how the school year 2020, 2021 is going to be in the midst of the challenges of the situation that we have right now. If you are a would be parent, inshallah, apart from informing you about our plans, we also would like to share to you who we are and what kind of education we give. If you are a guest or a curious observer like a school owner or a teacher and then you, you know you can pick up a thing or two about what we're going to share today and you decide later on to use it for your school or your personal benefits then mashallah this means we are doing something worthy of learning from. Earlier we listened to our Islamic studies and Arabic language uh, department head Ustaz Abdul Qahar Abdul Karim who talked about how to adapt to the inevitable situation of the entire world due to the pandemic. You know, over the past months, we have been hearing the phrase new normal. Suddenly, just like that, you know, everything changes. Yes, we were shocked. We were caught off guard and maybe we were also frightened. I speak in the past tense because I would like to believe that after 70 days of ECQ and 8 days of NECQ, Alhamdulillah, we are now in GCQ, and more or less, we are starting to get up from the worst to better, inshallah. So, are we ready? Uh, are you ready? Okay, you know, really, it's difficult, you know, I, I understand that some parents, you have some misgivings, especially because of the situation now, and, um, you know, the, the point is that we really have to always remember that we have to make this education continue. We have to continue the education of our children. And whatever the situation is, we have to really learn how to adapt, you know, no matter how unprepared we are. And we always have to remember that we always have a choice, and our choice would not be easy. And whatever choice we decide on, it will either benefit us or harm us. So let us always remember that first and foremost, we should seek the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in making a choice and pray that the choice will be good for us, for our religion, our life here and in the hereafter. More importantly, you know, we must put our trust, complete trust in His perfect knowledge of everything. And let us always, always be reminded of His commandments, okay, what He commanded us to do, and that is to seek knowledge. To seek knowledge is an obligation for us as Muslims. You know, in this very trying situation we have right now, I know many parents are thinking of not putting, you know, their children at school, but really we should not stop. There would always be ways, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would always be find ways. And you know, just to share to you, if there's any wisdom that we can uh, derive from, you know, what is happening in the end of humanity, it is that Allah can change the most hopeless situation into the best moment of your life. So let me now go to the what I'm going to discuss, and this is about the learning continuity plan. So what is this learning continuity plan? You know, this is a mandate from the Department of Education to all schools. We should come up with, with plans to see how the schools are going to manage the education of their uh, students in the, you know, the face of the current health situation of the country. You have heard a lot already, even the public schools are going online, distance learning and all. So for AIS, the learning continuity plan has two major components the school preparedness and academic preparedness. The school preparedness has the following elements, uh, the minimum health standards, the implementation of minimum health standards, the financial preparation, and the enrollment procedure. And academic preparedness, on the other hand, has the following elements, which is alternative learning delivery mode, and uh, of course, the teacher preparedness. What is When we say alternative learning delivery mode, this only means what are we going to use instead of a face-to-face because we cannot do any face-to-face -face instruction right now. So we're going to talk more about that, inshallah. All these components will not work now without, you know, the parents' involvement. So this is where you come in. Okay. So let us start with the implementation of the minimum health standards. You know, in compliance with the DOH and DepEd, of course, we also observe minimum health standards. So when you go to the 
of course, our priority, number one priority is your health and your safety. So when you come and visit the school, um, you will see something like that in the gate. Uh, and you know this, you are so familiar with this because this has been, you know, put anywhere you go, okay? So, of course, uh, we have other health protocols. Um, for your information, the employees have started reporting, the regular employees, since uh, May 26, and we have been, since then, we have been transporting them from home to school and back to ensure the safety of everyone. At least we would like to show, to make sure that we are not going to contract any outside contaminants. And of course, when they are here, the employees are, of course, to strictly observe the health and safety standards being implemented by the school. Upon entry, of course, we have the health protocols, and you know that already. Okay? And uh, of course, you know, we have a sanitizing shoe mat, so you cannot go inside without, you know, stepping on it. And we have to sanitize our hands all the time. In every door, there is a sanitizer. And of course, there are alcohol. And of course, also here, we are observing many protocols and we are not allowed to go out during office hours. We have to bring our packed food from home. And then we keep social distancing, of course, and out as much as possible, we avoid unnecessary chit-chatting. So we stay only in our workstation and no more than four people are allowed in one classroom. And when we pray, of course, when we pray, we are not going to be pray, praying in the groups because it is discouraged and we are using our own praying mat. Okay. And then, of course, for our maintenance, security and drivers, uh, there are also some protocols and these are things that they are usually doing. So, of course, no one is allowed to go out, check the temperature just by the security officer, the drivers, the, they clean and disinfect the school vans twice every day in the morning and in the afternoon. And then the disinfectant spraying, we also do that for the wheels of the cars of the employees. Um, also, the maintenance staff uh, make sure that all the rooms and the working stations used by the employees are sanitized every day, two times a day. Okay, and we only we do we do not use all the rooms. We have 22 classrooms, seven CRs, I think seven labs, seven offices, but we're not using them. We are only using about six of that. Okay, and so let let's now talk about uh, other elements okay this is about of course the financial preparation so how is the school preparing for this you know as we all know the economy of the country and the world now is uh, very very bad okay brought about by the lockdown in almost the entire country and all of us really were affected the school is very much affected especially because we really did not uh, were not able to collect okay because we were just starting the first quarter when the lockdown started so, but we're trying to understand, okay, we're trying our best to understand and help the parents to manage. And at the same time, keeping in mind also that we have some employees who are also relying on us. So, to help the parents, we actually came up with this payment scheme. So, the minimal, minimal enrollment fee now is at 1.5 per student. So, this is really, you know, a far cry from the 6,000 last uh, past years. And then, of course, the remaining balance may be paid in different payment schedules, cash, semi-annual, quarterly, and monthly. And they have corresponding discounts for each. And the online, of course, the payment is online, and it's by GCash, PayMaya, PayPal, and bank transfer. And, of course, you know, now, at least we are not, we don't have some textbooks. We might have textbooks, but not a lot, only from our really partner publishers. But the only library is going to be available and we are going to pay a little for this because, of course, we have to also, uh, we partner with some publishers on this. And when we say online library, we mean to say more than a thousand books, okay? Now, for the collection of the unpaid school fees for school year 2019-2020, it may be carried over for the incoming school year after paying 25%, okay, from the balance. So this is our way of helping uh, the parents, okay? And uh, we believe that with this, uh, you are going to be encouraged to start planning about the schooling of your child. Really, we should not stop. And uh, we have come up with some plans for you. And so I will go on now. So now, how do you enroll? So the online enrollment uh, is very simple. So this is the flow chart. So all you need to do is pre-enroll in the school website. It's on the home page at the bottom part or through the FB page to a link. After that, you will get an email uh, telling you to you know, enroll officially. 
and then you are going to enroll officially in the school website so there's a part there you're going to see online enrollment and then you're going to pay using any of the payment methods and then uh, you are going to attach the proof of payments after that you're going to receive an email confirming that you have already enrolled congratulations you're part of our family okay so now let's go to the alternative learning delivery modes okay um we are going to use what we call the blended learning approach we, this is something that is you're hearing all the time so we have three elements of or three methods for this approach distance learning home-based learning and face-to-face face-to-face is only when it will be allowed by the government the distance learning will have synchronous or virtual classes okay the home base will have two asynchronous or recorded classes and self-learning packets okay, it may be in digital or printed out when we are going to have this uh, face to face of course we're going to observe all the minimum health standards including social distancing so when we say distance learning this is virtual classes this is real-time live classes like you are in a classroom the only difference is that your children are at home and our teachers are in the school but we are going to follow the same we're going to have class procedures we're going to have check checking of attendance praying everything there will be interaction, recite, recitation, everything, okay? There will be two-day schedule of this, okay, per week, following a structured schedule. This will be discussed in length, okay, in the next webinar series, inshallah. The home-based learning, uh, the communication is not live, and the lessons may be in video or audio clips, and this will be conducted for two days, meaning to say that the students uh, can you know listen and go back and replay all the, the lessons that the teacher has uploaded in our um, um, classroom online classroom it's self-paced meaning to say anytime the student will want to do it to listen to it he can do it but the activities if there are any it has to be submitted on time now the self-learning packets these are you know formative and summative activities available in the AISD academy using the online and offline features of the classroom platform. This is a one-day schedule self-paced. So many say the five days in a week, they're all going to be there. They have classes. The difference is that only two days will be the virtual classes. Okay, that, that is a schedule. The, the two days, it will not be scheduled, but there will be activities. And then one day for all activities. Okay. Now, these are going to be available via our what we call AISE Academy platform. This is something new for us, and we're so excited about this. So, it features web rooms, we have ebooks there with interactive videos, we have flipboards, we have read alouds with fun pieces. Really, it's very enjoyable, and the teachers are really actually enjoying themselves now exploring this. And we're excited to share this with you. Okay, and of course, you know, this AISE Academy, it has a mobile app. It's just, you know, the app, you can download the lessons and activities and you can go back to it and it's offline, okay? And then when we're going to have the face-to-face, -face, of course, it's going to be allowed, the social distancing will be imposed and there will be alternate classes three times a week only. How do we implement the curriculum? So we are going to base on the MELC, MELCs or the most essential learning competencies. This means to say that only the basic skills that are needed by the students especially because they are at home, will be included. We still we take pride in giving the K-12 curriculum with the integration of Arabic language and Islamic education, and we're going to continue doing that. Since the beginning, we have been contextualizing our, our lessons to the Islamic faith. We teach about math, and we talk about Islam. We teach health and science, we talk about Islam. So we're going to continue doing that. And it is localized to what is at home, meaning to say whatever is available at your home. For example, we're going to have lessons about sorting regrouping in mass we may use the hangers or the spools or the forks okay things like that and our education goal the bottom line is that the learning that we give is not only informative but transformative okay so the teacher are getting ready for this you know every day they're in google meets and they are preparing and uploading uh, all everything in the, the website now and of course you know for you the parents how are you going to be involved we have many webinars okay now we started today the next webinar series will be about the entire AISE Academy so the, the series two three and four will be exclusive for those who are going to be pre-enrolling okay and then series three is importance of conscious Islamic parenting and, and uh, parent tips for distance uh, 
learning success and we also have practical tips on internet safety safety and uh, usage okay so uh, what are we waiting for and all now thank you so much for attending jessica jessica laukayan